On August 15, 2019, Ural Airlines Flight 178, an Airbus A321, embarked on what should have been a routine journey from Moscow Zhukovsky to Simferopol. However, shortly after takeoff, the flight encountered an unexpected and severe challenge. The aircraft faced a critical situation that tested the limits of both the aircraft and its crew. In the midst of this unfolding drama, the pilot's quick thinking and decisive actions became crucial. What followed was a dramatic sequence of events that showed off this pilot's exceptional skill and composure under pressure, ultimately shaping the outcome of this high-stakes emergency. On a seemingly ordinary summer morning, August 15, 2019, Ural Airlines Flight 178 lifted off from Zhukovsky International Airport in Moscow, bound for Simferopol, Crimea. The Airbus A321, packed with 226 passengers and seven crew members, had barely climbed into the sky when the unthinkable occurred. A large flock of gulls collided with the aircraft, sending the flight spiraling into an unprecedented crisis. Within seconds, both of the plane's CFM-56-5 engines were critically compromised. The left engine, after the initial bird strike, completely failed, while a second strike left the right engine producing only a whisper of thrust, far too little to sustain the flight. The passengers, many of them unaware of the impending danger, suddenly found themselves in a terrifying freefall toward the ground. Amid the chaos, a passenger managed to record the unfolding disaster on their phone capturing the plane's rapid descent as it plummeted toward a nearby cornfield. Inside the cockpit, the pilots, trained for emergencies but now facing the gravest of situations, knew they had mere moments to act. With no option for returning to the runway, they made the split-second decision to perform an emergency landing in a field just 2.8 nautical miles kilometers, from the airport. What followed was an extraordinary feat of airmanship. Despite the overwhelming odds, the pilots managed to safely land the crippled aircraft amidst rows of corn. According to the captain, they deliberately chose not to deploy the landing gear, believing that skidding across the cornfield without the added drag of the gear would soften the impact. While this explanation was later challenged by investigators in a leaked report, the fact remained that the decision likely played a crucial role in averting catastrophe. The aircraft screeched to a halt, battered but miraculously intact. For the passengers, what could have been a moment of unimaginable horror became a story of survival. All 233 people on board walked away from the wreckage alive. The scene of the downed aircraft, resting in a sea of corn, quickly became an image of triumph in the face of disaster. However, the relief was tempered by the realization that many had sustained injuries. The exact number of injured passengers was initially unclear, as criteria for classifying injuries varied. At the crash site, 55 individuals were treated and 29 were taken to nearby hospitals. Out of those, 23 were confirmed injured, with six requiring longer hospital stays. Ultimately, the official tally settled at 74 injured, an astonishingly low figure considering the circumstances, and none of the injuries were deemed severe. In the aftermath, Ural Airlines provided compensation of 100,000 ruble, approximately $1,358, to each of the passengers, a small gesture for those who had survived a near-death experience. Investigators combed through the wreckage, examining the chain of events that led to the bird strike and the subsequent loss of engine power. The event sparked renewed discussions about aviation safety protocols regarding bird strikes. The critical importance of pilot training and the razor-thin margin between disaster and survival in the skies. As the crew's swift actions turn a disaster into a remarkable survival story, the true challenges faced by the aircraft are about to be revealed. The aircraft involved in the dramatic incident was an Airbus A321, a well-traveled plane registered in Bermuda as VQB-OZ, with a manufacturer's serial number of 2117. Built in 2003, the aircraft's journey through the aviation world was anything but straightforward. Originally intended for My Travel Airways under the registration GOMYA, the airline ultimately decided against accepting it. From there, the aircraft embarked on a series of transfers across different operators. 
First, it was passed to Cyprus Turkish Airlines, flying under the registration TC-KTD, before joining the fleet of Atlas Global in 2010 as TC-ETR. In 2011, it briefly operated for Solaris Airlines as EIERU, before finally finding its long-term home with Ural Airlines later that year, taking on the familiar registration VQBOZ. After years of service across various carriers, the Airbus A321's fate was sealed during the crash landing on August 15, 2019. The damage sustained during the emergency landing was so severe that the aircraft was deemed irreparable. Beyond just a mechanical casualty, this marked the sixth hull loss of an Airbus A321, a significant entry into aviation accident history. The aircraft that had once crisscrossed the skies over Europe and the Middle East was now slated to be scrapped in the very field where it had come to rest. Ural Airlines made the decision to dismantle the wreckage on site. On August 23, 2019, the airline initiated an operation to cut up the damaged plane bringing the story of VQBOZ to a close. At the helm of Ural Airlines Flight 178 during its harrowing descent was 41-year-old Captain Damir Yusupov, a seasoned pilot with over 3,000 hours of flight experience. Yusupov's graduated from the prestigious Bugaruslan Flight School of Civil Aviation in 2013, following it up with a degree in air navigation from the Ulyanovsk Institute of Civil Aviation. His extensive training and experience equipped him with the calm and expertise necessary to guide the aircraft through its emergency landing, a feat that would be remembered as one of modern aviation's most remarkable acts of piloting. Alongside him in the cockpit was 23-year-old First Officer Georgi Merzin, a relatively new but highly trained co-pilot who also graduated from the Bugaruslan Flight School, completing his studies in 2017. With over 600 hours of flight time, Merzin was still in the early stages of his career, yet his contributions during the critical moments of the flight demonstrated professionalism beyond his years. Together, the two pilots formed a coordinated and effective team, responding to the sudden loss of engine power with clarity and control. Assisting the pilots were five flight attendants who played an equally vital role in maintaining order and ensuring passenger safety as the situation unfolded. Their ability to stay composed and carry out their emergency protocols undoubtedly contributed to the miraculous outcome of the crash landing, where all 226 passengers survived. In the wake of the accident, Captain Yusupov and his crew were hailed as heroes, their quick thinking and expert handling of the crippled aircraft preventing what could have been a devastating tragedy. With the miraculous landing accomplished, the story shifts to uncover the aircraft's intriguing past and its unexpected end. The bird strike that nearly brought down Ural Airlines Flight 178 was not just a tragic accident, but part of a broader systemic issue. The proliferation of birds around Moscow Joukovsky International Airport has been largely attributed to nearby illegal waste dumps, a growing problem that local bird control measures have struggled to contain. These waste sites, teeming with edible refuse, attract flocks of birds, particularly gulls, creating a dangerous intersection between wildlife and aviation. In fact, as early as 2012, concerns had been raised about the proximity of waste sorting facilities to the airport's runways. A lawsuit was brought against the management of one of these sites, located just two kilometers, 1.2 miles from the airport. Plaintiffs argued that the sheer number of birds attracted to the facility posed an imminent threat to aircraft and human life. Despite these warnings, the court ultimately ruled in favor of the waste site operators, finding insufficient grounds to halt their activities. By 2019, the waste site in question had shifted operations, no longer sorting or storing household waste, but compacting it and transferring it for further disposal. Yet the activities were still conducted outdoors, continuing to draw flocks of birds to the area. The risks these waste sites posed were well known to air traffic controllers at Joukovsky. One controller remarked that they issue warnings to every departing aircraft. The birds come to sit on the runway. There's the river and the dump nearby, so they are there constantly. This constant presence of birds created a hazardous environment for takeoffs and landings, 
and despite precautions, incidents like the one involving Flight 178 were almost inevitable. In response to the growing concerns following the Flight 178 crash landing, Rosaviatsia, Russia's Federal Air Transport Agency, proposed stronger measures in September 2019. The agency recommended collaborating with law enforcement to investigate the legality of waste dumps near airports. They also pushed for more rigorous inspections of airports to monitor and mitigate the presence of birds, hoping to prevent another close call like Flight 178. The incident shed light on the critical need for stronger environmental and regulatory controls surrounding airports, not just in Russia but globally. While pilots and air traffic controllers can only do so much to avoid bird strikes, managing the root causes, such as illegal waste sites, remains key to protecting future flights. The bird strike incident exposes a broader issue, leading to revelations about systemic failures that could change future aviation safety. In the immediate aftermath of the crash, Ural Airlines took to social media to address the public, releasing a statement on Twitter that read, Flight U6178, Zhukovsky Simferopol, on departure from Zhukovsky, sustained multiple bird strikes to the aircraft engines. The aircraft made an emergency landing. There were no injuries to the passengers and crew. The airline commended the pilots for their professionalism, recognizing their quick actions in ensuring the safety of all on board. As news of the incident spread, many on social media drew parallels to the 2009 Miracle on the Hudson where US Airways Flight 1549, piloted by Captain Chesley Sullenberger, safely landed in the Hudson River following a similar bird strike event. Both incidents highlighted the critical role that calm and expert piloting plays in averting disaster. Captain Demir Yusupov and First Officer Georgi Merzin were celebrated as national heroes for their actions. Both were awarded Russia's highest honor, the hero of the Russian Federation while the remaining five crew members were decorated with the Order of Courage, recognizing their valor during the emergency. However, not all reactions to the crew's actions were positive. The Ukrainian NGO Mirot Vorets, peacemaker, controversially placed the crew on its blacklist, accusing them of repeatedly making illegal crossings of Ukraine's borders, referencing political tensions between Russia and Ukraine. The remarkable story of Flight 178 quickly captured the public's imagination. Alexander Mitter, the director behind Air Crew, Russia's first disaster movie, announced plans to create a film inspired by the heroic landing. This real-life drama, marked by bravery and survival, was poised to make its way from the cornfields of Zhukovsky to the silver screen. The Interstate Aviation Committee promptly launched an investigation into the crash of Ural Airlines Flight 178. This comprehensive investigation was supported by Rosaviatsia, Russia's Federal Air Transport Agency, the British Air Accidents Investigation Branch, MAIB, and the French Bureau of Inquiry and Analysis for Civil Aviation Safety, BEA. Both the Cockpit Voice Recorder, CVR, and the Flight Data Recorder, FDR, were successfully recovered and their data analyzed, offering a detailed insight into the events leading up to the crash landing. The initial heroism of the pilots is scrutinized as new findings from the investigation paint a complex picture of the emergency landing. However, in a surprising turn of events, instead of an official publication, the investigation report was leaked in August 2022. The leaked findings took a starkly different tone from the initial praise of heroism surrounding the pilots. The report pointed out several key mistakes made by the crew, shifting the narrative from one of flawless piloting to one of avoidable errors. According to the report, one of the critical issues was the Russian aviation culture of avoiding non-standard decisions, such as delaying takeoff or aborting it entirely. Despite both pilots seeing and acknowledging the presence of birds before takeoff, they chose to proceed, even expressing frustration about the situation. This decision to continue, rather than holding on the runway, was considered a significant contributing factor to the accident. Once airborne, the crew's response to the bird strike was described as disorganized. The report criticized the pilots for failing to retract the landing gear, which may have helped the aircraft glide more effectively. Additionally, 
They did not disable the alarm that activated after the autopilot disengaged, which likely added to the confusion in the cockpit. Notably, the report revealed that an emergency landing was never explicitly discussed by the crew during the descent, leading to the failure to shut down the engines upon touchdown, a critical procedure in such situations. One of the most contentious points in the investigation was the decision to retract the undercarriage during the final phase of the flight. While the pilots had claimed this was a deliberate action to prepare for an emergency landing, the investigation interpreted it as a last-minute attempt to gain speed rather than a carefully planned maneuver. These revelations drastically changed the public perception of the incident, raising questions about decision-making under pressure and the broader challenges within Russian aviation protocols. As the wreckage of the aircraft was dismantled, the aftermath of the crash revealed critical insights into its final moments and the impact on aviation practices. The emergency landing of Ural Airlines Flight 178 on August 15, 2019, showcased the exceptional skill and composure of Captain Demir Yusupov and First Officer Georgi Mirzin. Faced with severe engine failures caused by a flock of gulls, the pilots managed to safely land the aircraft in a cornfield, ensuring the survival of all 226 passengers and crew. Their decisive actions and expert handling of the situation turned a potential disaster into a remarkable demonstration of aviation professionalism. This incident not only highlighted their heroism, but also reinforced the critical role of skilled pilots in navigating and mitigating in-flight emergencies.